In this problem, we're going to look at probability for a single value and probability for a sample mean. This first probability is the same thing we did in the last chapter involving normal distributions. So that's kind of a review problem. When we have a sample of 94, that's when we'll use the central limit theorem and find the standard error to figure out that probability. So let's start with staplet.com normal distributions. And we'll start with our mean and standard deviation as given 50 and 83.1 for this problem. We can see the graph of the bell curve, and this is going to compare single selected values. So we have a, a wide range of values here. It's hard to say what this variable will be, but we could say the probability of picking one of these values and getting less than a 54.3 using the calculated area to the left of 54.3. So that gives me an area of 52.06% of the curve, a probability 52.06. As a decimal, that's 0 0.5206. Next, I want to compare sample means when samples of 94 individuals are collected. The only way to account for this is to find the standard error, where we take the original standard deviation, that was 83.1 here, Divide it by square root of the sample size, 94. This gives me a figure called standard error. This is the standard deviation for samples of 94 when we're comparing the means. So that's why the probability inside that parentheses goes from x to x bar. Instead of looking at individual values, we're comparing sample means. There's a lot less variation between sample means because the averaging kind of smoothed things out a little bit and gives you less of the extremes. So you'd want to use as many digits of this as you can. I think four digits is a good starting place. Honestly, since we have four digits for our answer, it would be good to go a little beyond that. I'm going to go an extra two digits out. Six decimal points gives me 8.571111. Four ones at the end of that. Now I'm going to plot it, and we don't really see... Um, the curve still looks the same, but now it's just the numbering that's changing. Um, we're not going to see as much variation, so we don't go to the negatives anymore. And now to the left of 54.3 is going to be 0.6921. So that was the probability of getting a sample mean below 54.3 and a sample of 94 from that original population. 